Hello everybody and thank you for coming back to the channel and to the building of this Dumas um, Hurricane the one that I got from Raymond Richards the, the conversion to RC so I've been fighting now for quite a while with the electronics I'm using what, uh, what Raymond sent me which is a, an 18 amp ESC which is great that I, to get it um, I did get a receiver which is a Flysky FC FSIA6B and what I've been fighting with is to change the connectors because uh, there were other connectors there so I've, I've plugged in I've been playing around with cables and uh, I'm struggling about thick cables, narrow ca thin cables it's probably not perfect but at least it works so let's see how how that goes what I've been doing now also and I don't know if you can see it I've been fighting to to bind the, the TX16S which is similar an older model than what Cliff has and uh, I've been fighting to bind it I've been looking things up and um, I, I discovered after quite a while scratching my head that I was in the middle of the external RF here there's the internal RF there's also external RF so I was trying to bind it with external RF and it didn't work then on another video that I found on YouTube it pointed there to go to the internal RF and of course then it did work so um, one of my worries is always to where to put in the and what what way up to put in the the connectors so so it's a bit of a, of a concern always because I don't want to burn things out I don't know if I can burn things or not but uh, but I'm really worried about that because burning a server it hurts burning a receiver hurts much more the pocket especially right so what I have managed to do, but I don't know if you can, you will be able to see it. I've managed to to connect it all up, and uh, I do have the two servos there. Let's see if you can see them. And uh, this one should be the rudder. I think the right is on the rudder, right rudder, and you see it does move. And on the left, I have the elevator. So if you've got up elevator, actually goes down. So I'm going to need to invert it. It was the same with the Piper Cup. But uh, the good thing is that uh, the control rods, the push rods are moving well, which is fantastic. And then for the motor, I still have to figure out how to how I'm going to connect them because I've got this the three narrow, three thin cables, and uh, I've got to find connectors. I think these are the four and a half connectors or something like that, the four millimeter connectors. Um, and um, I don't have any of those so I might need to go and buy some or I might use uh, what I have which is a little bit narrower but I think they are still fitting and they still go in so it might work I did try just by putting in the cables in let's see if I do it maybe you can't see it but just uh, putting them in and holding them in to see if they get if they, if they work and I did try it, it did work I was a bit concerned because the motor let's see how I hold it was uh, jolting a bit so it does move the motor I think is quite powerful I think you see it down here right down here uh, but I probably need to calibrate it also there's a way of calibrating the motor which I'm not sure how to do but I'll figure out first how to do the connectors then I'll do the calibration and uh, and then it goes ahead with the with the build and the building I'm finding where to put all this where to lodge it in and to, to continue the build so follow along on this one and by the end of this I hope to have a almost completed fuselage I would say with uh, with all the electronics and these miles and miles of cables in it somehow and I have some uh, progress on the electronics part I've uh, reconnected the, or taken the motor off and put it back on with a washer in there so that it's the, um, the inclination down, the angle down is not so high I've managed to squeeze in the ESC I've got here the receiver also which is ready I've plugged everything in what I'm still missing here evidently is the, um, the connection for the ailerons that that will come when I make the wings and what I want to do now and here would be the battery hatch these two I'm going to leave in here still for strength but uh, if needed I would be able to take them off because I think they would it would hold I'm going to connect the the battery and uh, make sure that everything works like after the testing 
so the battery would squeeze in there somehow would have to tuck it all in right I could maybe even put the the battery hatch just for show how would I put this in and uh, that's the electronics and let's see if if I have the correct model here let's try the engine and it's turning clockwise which I believe is the right way around um, and then also then the the servos I think you can see them like that this would be the rudder left rudder yes the right rudder yes and the elevator up and down which I think is actually correct even or we'll having to check I can then switch them over if needed but uh, I think everything seems to be working so the challenge of squeezing in the electronics seems to be working I would need to fix them in somehow maybe with velcro or something so they don't shift around in flight but um, looking good so far now for a much more enjoyable part which is to build up the fuselage all around so the formers the stringers and uh, get it to the shape of the of the hurricane and an update with the progress on the fuselage so as usual I can't remember what the last update was but what I've been up to I've put in the fuselage formers and I built up the upper part of the fuselage including this piece which is on which the elevator will then or the stabilizer will then sit so that uh, that will go somehow like this and uh, it looks nice it starts to get the, the shape already I've also put on the formers on the on the belly on the underside and I've started also to put on the stringers on the side as you see here and this is starting to give very much the shape of the of the fuselage um, in this I believe I got to check the instructions I start to put also the the, the thinner stringers the 1 16th inch stringers these are I think 3 16th and then here we'll have like 1 16th I'm also building up the cockpit so apart from this piece then I put in this piece of balsa I've painted it black already um, but this is very rewarding because it's a curved piece so I had to wet it, curve it, I put it around the pot with a rubber band and it uh, actually sat in there perfectly which is very good and then as I, as you see I painted it black because when the cockpit goes on there then inside that you don't just see the balsa structure that uh, you see something that looks black not just uh, the pale balsa structure and then I believe then the next step as I say would be the 1 16th it will also be the underside and then gradually then the fuselage will be almost ready sanding and I might even start with the with the tissue covering before going over to the to the wing structure so let me do this and I'll show you the progress and here is the fuselage structure pretty much complete electronics hanging out I've put the battery cover on to make sure that it fits well I've put all the stringers in I've done one session of sanding I'll probably do another one well, not all the stringers actually, I still leave in the, the bottom side because I've got to put in here a plate with a tail wheel so what I've got to do now is figure out how to put the tail wheel um, bend the wire and then make sure that I can put it in here and I leave it here so that I can put the finger inside in, in case I sink it in because with all the stringers on then it's really difficult to get into the, into the cage um, from the, the nose part it's also kind of complete some minor adjustments that I did to my earlier mistakes once I did break some of them because they, they are very it's 1 16th which is like one millimeter and a half or something so they are quite frail the, the stringers but in combination I'm not going to do it very strong but it really does give I don't know if you can see the movement there's very little movement it does give quite a lot of sturdiness and uh, I think it does look actually very good the whole bolster structure like if one day I give up trying to fly which might happen I might just build one and leave it like this with the structure because it, it does look interesting even without the tissue covering on it or anything so but uh, overall it's a nice design it comes very nicely together uh, quite beefy in comparison to what I'm used to so so I hope it flies and it takes the, the crash landings that uh, it will hopefully successfully survive and now it's going to be to the tail wheel assembly the tail wheel I don't know if you can see it very much Here's assembly, the two pieces that come together, I need to put in a wire, put in the wheel and then put it in there. And once I have that in place, then I start to do the tissue, the tissue covering 
of at least the rear fuselage, maybe the whole fuselage actually, um, and also then assemble the, the tail surfaces. I still am still thinking or playing about with the idea of making the wing removable, which is I think very difficult because it's it does have some fairings here that uh, that cover it up. I know that Cliff did it with the Guillo Spitfire, but I'm not sure if I'm on that level that I can do a removable wing for this. It would be nice because it gives access to all the electronics in case I need to change it. Whereas at the moment I'm only going to be able to access it through through the hatch. So, but anyhow, I'll probably fix it as as designed on the plan with glue the wing. But uh, that will be then then later. So now tail wheel, tissue covering, and then a big fuselage of a hurricane coming along, and maybe also the nose piece. I have to check, make sure that it fits well and that it's. Uh, that it covers the motor up. So I have some progress with the tissue covering. As you see I started with the bottom. I'm not going to paint it over because I'm I don't know how basically. Uh, but so I do notice actually that the where the two pieces of paper of tissue there are some stripes. We don't they don't look great but uh, I think I'm going to have to live with that. Um, I've done also I've done started with the bottom side um, also the nose part I've also installed the tail wheel. I don't know if I, I'd shown this before. I didn't find the tail wheel in the kit. I don't know if I dropped it when I opened it and I lost it, but I didn't find it. Luckily, I found in my stash a wheel that uh, actually fits. It's just slightly bigger than on the plan, so I, I used that and uh, I fixed it in place. It's just for decoration because I'm not going to use the, the, the landing gear for flying, but I will probably build it for, for show, for decoration. And as I was saying with the tissue, it's uh, I do struggle with it because it's it's a lot of precision work that has to be done. But I think it's more or less coming along okay. Here we can see also that uh, there are some overlaps of the tissue, so it does look a little bit strange. So I'm not sure how I'll handle that, or if I leave it that like like that, we'll see. Um, the, there's a big temptation of using big sheets. I did it here, but then of course then I get a bit of a crease there, which I'm not sure if wetting it is going to be enough to to stretch it out so maybe on the other side I will use maybe smaller sheets but then I'll have the risk of having those stripes down there so I'm, I'm not quite sure um, before I go on actually with the tissue I might actually do a bit more tissue I have to figure out how to do the the canopy here's the canopy very nicely formed um, I think it's covered with plastic on the inside and I'm thinking how to actually paint it over because it uh, I think they do they do they are painted I think with a camouflage I don't know if it'll be green or if I'll do it black I'm not sure and I'm not sure if to peel off the the this plastic sheet or not uh, I heard somewhere that it's difficult I think Skippy was saying it was quite difficult to do so you could actually leave it with this blue blue shade to it um, so I've got to think how I'm going to paint or if I can use this sheet maybe to as masking tape but that's going to be difficult. Um, to basically to to paint it over and uh, and have a nice finish to it. So just thinking, I might do like I did on the on what was it on the chipmunk. On the chipmunk, what I did, I covered it all with masking tape. Then I cut out the parts. Let's say these these ridges. I cut them out. I pulled them off with from the masking tape, and then I I spray uh, spray painted it. Um, that might be a way to go. It wasn't so bad. It took some time, some effort, but it wasn't so bad. And there may be after that to go ahead. So I'm still thinking about it. I have to figure it out soon because as you can see the tissue is indeed getting close. So once I get to this level I want to have the, the canopy in place and then I can cover, connect, cover the connection with, uh, with tissue. And, uh, and yeah, other than that I think it's looking okay -ish. so not bad and the fuselage somehow coming into shape before I go on with the wings so let's see how I'll, I'll update you when I have something else to show and slow progress but progress so let me show you the the progress I've done so the canopy I followed the step of covering it with uh, with the masking tape with this masking tape and then with the knife cutting out the windows and removing the tape from the structure I had to do it twice because it did have that blue uh, plastic cover and it had it both on the outside and on the inside nice and protected but I thought it was only on the inside then when I was taking off the masking tape it was also on the outside I had to pull it all off and start again overall I'm happy with the result there, there are some spots of dirt and things like that and but overall I think the paint and it was a spray can 
I think it uh, it got it, it stuck well. I made it green because I'm hoping and thinking that it's going to be green with the camouflage over the over the canopy. So let's see how it goes. It is a bit of a different green, but um, it's the best that I could do, and I'm I'm quite satisfied actually with that. So that's okay. And then I've continued to do the tissue covering also on the side of the fuselage, as you can see. Um, here on the on the side itself, I can do longer pieces within reason. Here on the nose, I'm still not quite satisfied with the that when when I put two pieces of paper, two tissues on top, it gets a bit darker. It's a bit ugly, but um, it is what it is. And uh, what I've been doing now this session has been also the top. What I think they call the turtle back. Like I started to do the top, and these are like I go panel by panel. I cut out a square of the tissue, then I put it onto the model and I mark it where I need to cut it. So I cut it quite precisely to the to the shape that it's going to have so that I can actually do it faster. And I was just counting what I am going to do tomorrow because now it's time to go to bed. I think I have like 10 panels. I think one, this is going to be a difficult one. I know it's upside down, but this is going to be a difficult one because of the shape of the canopy. So it's two, three, four on the nose. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So it's going to be a, a long session putting on the the rest of the tissue on the fuselage. So I'll show you when I have that ready and then I'll wrap this up. Time to close off the, the video. I've uh, covered all the fuselage with the brown tissue as you can see. The, the turtle deck has been a bit more complicated. Again I I cut out a piece, I put it on top, then I mark out where I'm going to cut it to shape and then uh, I put it on with the water and glue. I've, uh, as you can see, I don't know if you can see it actually, but in some parts I've already put the water glue mix on top to shrink it here. I started from the back, um, but then I ran out of the water and glue, so I'm not going to do a more, a more mix. You might see it here. This is covered, this isn't. It's a bit, uh, a bit darker. Um, here again also, this has been water like shrunk and this hasn't yet. Um, and I'm not going to mix any more water and glue because I'm not going to need it other than for this and for, for a while. Um, I'm not going to put on the green markings, the camouflage, because for that I want to have the wing on to see where it's going to connect. I could maybe do some on the fuselage, but uh, I'm going to leave it there. I'm also a little bit tired of the tissue, so then I take a break from the from the tissue. So, in overall, there as you can see is the fuselage. Back there, I have also the tail surfaces, and uh, then the next step on this project is going to be to build the wing, which is going to be huge. So that's going to be then the the next step on this project. So, in any case, as always, thank you very much everybody for following along and for all your comments, and I'll see you next time.